Hey guys, it's Heather here from Wide Open Spaces. Just giving you my week four report. Uh, so first my stats. Um, I was down exactly seven pounds from last week, so that was pretty good. Um, seems like my little stall, excuse my cat, thinks I'm talking to her. And um, every time I talk to the on the phone or on the camera, we have a cat in my face because she thinks I'm talking to her. Um, anyway, so I was down seven pounds this week, so my little stall from last week I think is over. I started consistently losing about a pound, pound and a half a day. Um, Tom is still on his way. I've been waiting expectantly. It's been two weeks now, so Tom's a little late, but then I have polycystic ovarian syndrome, and I think with a combination of the hormones I'm already taking and then the HCG hormone, I'll probably... Um, gonna make it a little bit harder for me to lose the weight than somebody without the hormonal problems. Um, but that's okay. I mean, you know, like HCG, HCG lamb chops was saying, you know, a pound is a pound or a half pound is a half pound. So seven pounds is seven pounds. Um, so I feel good about that. My blood sugars are remaining stable. They've been, my fastings have been every, anywhere between 77 and 100. Um, usually in the 90s, so that's pretty good. I'm still on metformin, so I'm still diabetic, but hey, I really feel good about that. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, hmm, let me look at my notes. Oh, the difference between week three and week four, I, I don't know if anybody else out there has experienced this. This is my first round, but uh, between week three and week four, I know my blood sugars were adjusting, but also I was just really consumed with food porn, looking at pictures of food, imagining how a hash brown would taste. I even caught myself a couple nights um, during le uh, last week and a little bit during week three uh, having wonderful dreams of a triple cheeseburger. I, and I woke up laughing at myself, like, what in the world? I guess I'm just my mind is adjusting along with my body about not having food but I was really I'm you know I look at Pinterest every day and think "Ooh, that's good that's good I'm trying not to get too into it though because I don't want to have trouble in P3 I'm really trying to make this HCG work so I don't want to have emotional eating issues I think I still have um I, ha I have some work to do around that issue and to maybe try and make my P3 and P4 foods tasty and satisfying yet not unhealthy and to eat within hunger and then speaking of eating within hunger, I did have trouble uh, this week and a little bit last week as well, feeling really, really tired and weak and shaky. And what I had been doing the first couple weeks of HCG was trying to follow the weight loss apocalypse idea that you only eat when you're hungry. And I wasn't feeling hungry at all. So there's some days I'd have an apple and a few pieces of my protein. And... I thought I was doing the right thing. I thought, hey, I'm really not hungry. I'm really going to be losing weight. And I was, before week three, I was losing like two and a half pounds a day. I was really losing the weight. But then last weekend and early this week, I started feeling really weak. Like I was, you know, I could walk like about a half a block and then just feel really tired. Not like I was going to pass out, but just tired. Like somebody had unplugged me and all my energy just drained out. And... I decided to put in back my full HCG meals. So I've been eating the full 500 calories for the last three or four days, and it's made a world of difference. Um, I feel I don't, I'm don't i not losing that energy anymore. I still get a little bit tired when I try and really go out and exercise and walk a mile or two. I don't do that anymore. I just can't do it, but I feel a lot better. So there's something to be said for that. <clears throat> I was listening to my hunger. I was not hungry on the HCG, the low-calorie diet, but I needed to eat uh, to feel energy. So I'm still having to play around with that, uh, eating when you're hungry, you know, eating without emotion. I'm still having to play around with that. But, you know, again, I'm still on a learning curve. I've had 40 years of, you know, yo-yo dieting and restriction and binging and restriction. So I'm on a learning curve and, you know, it's just a process. But so if you, any of you are out there newbies, just watch that if you're new and you're trying to do Eat to Hunger and HCG, be careful because sometimes you're, you're, it's really hard to tell when you are hungry or when you need food uh, when you're on the HCG. Um, that's pretty much all I have to tell you. Oh, I wanted to say one more thing. Um, for any of you that are new or considering HCG or just 
just starting on it or thinking about starting on it, this is a really good program for people who are overweight and having trouble losing the extra fat. Every diet I've been on before, I've always lost tummy and shoulder weight and then stopped. I mean, I remember being a size 8 on top and a size 16 on the bottom and could not shake the weight from my hips and my thighs and my belly. Um, and I think a lot of that had to do with the hormones. So if any of you are like me, what I'm really impressed by HCG this time is that I'm losing. I, I lost almost three inches off my hips this week. I'm really amazed. I'm really pleased with it. Um, so I, it makes me trust that it's working. It makes me trust that it is working with my hormones to help me lose this excess weight. Um, it's a different weight loss and a, an impressive weight loss versus you know your normal everyday diet plans so I, if you're thinking of doing HCG I really recommend it do your research know if it's right for you um, but it's a definite it's a definite step forward uh, versus other diet plans I've tried and I've tried them since I was five so <laughs> I have some experience anyway I hope you all guys are all having a good week and I'll talk to you next week okay, thank you bye bye